something you can find out there over and over and over again and make a little bit of money on and i think most people pass it by a garage sale <music> Hey y'all, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin, we're in the Commonwealth Cabin, and if you're new to the show, basically what we do is we go out picking on the Commonwealth Picker Channel, and then we take it all in here, and we picture them up, and we list them up, and we get them sold on eBay, and then we tell you what we sold. So we sold some great stuff today, some great profit margins, some items I just am loving selling, and I sold something I haven't sold in a while that a lot of folks just pass up at garage sales, and to be honest with you, I've even passed them up a little bit because there was a lull for them for a little while, but it looks like the prices are back up on it, so I've started picking them up again. I haven't sold one of these since the show started about a year and a half ago, but I passed up one a week or two ago, and then I looked it up, and then I said, you know what, I'm going to buy one next time I see it. And I've seen two cents, and I'm happy I picked this one up. It's not a huge profit, but it's something you can find out there over and over and over again and make a little bit of money on, and I think most people pass it by at garage sales. So let's take a look at what's sold today. Hey, first item up here, this Teleflex Marine Instruments. It's an hour meter is what it is for a boat. And I picked this thing up at a garage sale for a dollar. And there was a bunch of stuff like this and I picked a bunch of it up. And this I think is gonna pay for everything I bought at that garage sale or very close to it and put us in the profit for the rest. I can't wait to edit this one on the Commonwealth Picker channel. I can't even remember all the stuff that I bought. And there's some pretty cool vintage stuff that kind of are eye openers as to the kind of things and the kind of prices you can get for some of this old stuff. But this is no surprise to me. It's new old stock, a rough box, but it, everything was there and it's got the instructions. It's in plastic and everything. $25 plus shipping and it was a dollar buy. All right, another ice cream, a little uh, $1 retail arbitrage buy from Lowe's, $12.95 plus shipping. And we are down to four of these. And I think that was the one that we had the most of. It's just the most generic, nothing amazing. And they've still sold. We have them out there for a good price. And we're making about 10 bucks a pop on them. All right, here is a smudger. We've been selling these for a while now. We are into this for pennies, two bucks, and we bought like, I don't know, 30 or something like that. So we're making pretty good money. We're making about $5 every time we sell it. It's a $9 item, and they've sold faster than I thought they would sell. This is something that had no sold comps on eBay, and I picked it up anyways. I looked it up on this smudger.com, and they're selling them for like $12.95. I'm like, well, if somebody's selling them, I can undercut them, put them on eBay, and see if I can sell them. And they've sold pretty good, slowly, but maybe one or two a week. I'm thinking about bumping the price up a buck on them because, hey, I think I'm the only one selling them, right? So we'll see. Maybe I'll bump it up a buck. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just get rid of them. Sometimes you bump it up a buck and it's like, eh, and they sit there for a year or so. Maybe I'll just take my little profit here and be happy with it. All right, if you're new to the channel or new to the Commonwealth Picker channel, there was a sale. It was called Picker's Paradise. And it's one of our popular videos. It's a little hard to watch, to be honest with you, because we are in a dark place. There's stuff all over the place. You're slipping and falling, and, and it was crazy. But that place was an absolute gold mine. I wish I was the first one there, because I know I missed out on some vintage Nintendo stuff. I still got some vintage Nintendo stuff. The very first thing I sold out of there paid for everything I bought, and I filled the entire back of my wife's car up. Matter of fact, my daughter and my wife were with me, and they came in there and they're like, we got to get out of this place. But we've sold a bunch of stuff. It's the one with the Farrah Fawcett thumbnail on it. I think we called it Picker's Paradise Sale. And this is pure profit right here. We cleaned this thing up. We washed it and it just came out perfect here. Well, not perfect, but perfect for vintage. You know, you don't want it to look brand new. Although, you know what? Brand new vintage is pretty good too. But this is a Levi Sherpa made in the USA kind of trucker jacket. And there's not many of these out there. Matter of fact, I might even have had the only one. I put it out there for $100 plus shipping. And this one, I did. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do the shipping on my own or go through GSP on this one. But I decided to go through global shipping on this one, and I'm glad I did. I figured the buyer would probably be an overseas buyer. That's what happens a lot of times on these types of items. And so it was. It was somebody uh, overseas, and I don't know where exactly it's going to. I didn't look at it, but I'm shipping this off to Kentucky, and I'll have to see where it's headed. Probably East Asia is my guess. That's typically where this stuff goes. So 
This sold for $99 plus shipping, and it is pure profit at this point, but I'm gonna use a different number back here. Yesterday, we talked about profit margins, and some people said, oh, you're only making 40% or whatever you're making. And I said minimum 40 and then upwards of 60, sometimes more, sometimes less, but I kind of averaged out the numbers. And I've looked at this closely for quite a while, and I think people think they're making a little bit more than they are because there are some costs that are involved in it. But at any rate, I'm going to let you take a look at my numbers and show you because this is a really good profit margin item, and I just love this sale right here. All right, here's my numbers for the Sherpa jacket. So it was $99 plus shipping. So that item is only going to cost $7.60 for me to ship out to Kentucky for the global shipping program. So $107.70 came in. That's the 99 plus the shipping cost, which was eight something. I can't remember the exact numbers. So I put a cost of $2 on this. Now you could say that it's free because I've already made my money back, but it was a part of a big giant bundle deal. So I'm going to say the cost on it was two bucks. It might be a little bit more or a little bit less, but that's pretty darn close. We bundled a lot of stuff together. Shipping cost to me, not the buyer, the buyer's cost is a little bit higher. Actually, the buyer's cost is a lot higher because they pay global shipping, but you get the point. Shipping cost $7.60. Fees. Now, I put in 15% fees. It's not 15%. It's just a tick below 13%. But I always put 15% in for a couple reasons. I can do the math in my head, even though I calculated that one out. And the other reason is there are some other costs involved that we don't think about. You know, we could go on and on and on about those costs, but packaging material, printers, labels. I mean, for me, even this shed, there's a chicken right outside my door. It's looking right inside my window. Oh, I live in a strange world. All right, so let's just say 15% here in fees, and the profit is going to be $81.60. That is a 70%, 76% profit margin on this item. Even though it sold for $99 and you only paid $2, profit margin really is 70 about 75 percent and that's about as good as it gets on a lot of items you know so most items are a little less like that smudger back there you know the profit margin on that thing is like 28 29 percent i'm happy to do it because i'm still making money and it's easy but you know you average out all these things over time and your profit margin is probably between 40 and 60 if you do the kind of model that i'm doing and i think that's probably pretty accurate all right, I've got two more items in here. One is that item I was talking about at the beginning of the video, which is something I've been passing up on lately, but I'm gonna start picking them up. Right now is the right time to sell them, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but we have one more video game over here I'm gonna show you first. All right, if I can find it, it is a Wally -E, right there. Wally -E video game. We are in the pure profit on these. This was part of our $100 video game buy, which we have made probably close to $800 on so far. Not keeping track of that sale, but this one sold for $9 plus shipping. All right, next item here is in the back, and it's an item that I like to sell at Halloween time, and I used to sell all the time, but I haven't lately, and this isn't even a great one, and it's still sold for $21 plus shipping. All right, it's right here. I'm going to have to move a couple things here. There we go. I actually bought this at the same sale. It's an under cabinet. GE Space Maker CD player radio. But this, I almost walked away from, and I'm like, you know what, for a buck, I'm gonna sell it. And it's a Samsonite briefcase, and it's just old school brief briefcase. It's nothing amazing at all, and it's not even a slim one, which is what I wanna talk about. So, it doesn't have any keys in it. It's plain Jane, it's like blackish gray. And the slim ones will go for really good money. These don't go for quite as much, but right now is the time to sell them because people use them for Halloween costumes a lot of times. Some people actually use them to use them, and some people use them for Halloween costumes. I even see a lot of listings that have things like 007 or Mad Men in the title. But the ones that are really good, and you can find some upward selling like $59.99 plus shipping, are the slim ones. Ones that are just a few inches big. And some of those, especially if you have the keys are going for upwards of $60 plus shipping. And you can pick them up all the time at garage sales. You can pick them up at thrift stores. And a lot of folks don't know they have any value at all. I almost didn't pick this one up because it's kind of big and bulky. But they're also pretty good to ship in, you know. In the past, I've even shipped these things in bubble wrap and trash bags on top. So, you know, it's not a hard deal right there. 
I think what I'll do for this one is just take a giant piece of cardboard and fold it up and around it and wrap it up like a Christmas gift. So $21 plus shipping. I think I paid a buck for it. Not a huge profit, but it'll make, you know, $17 profit. And I like that. <laughs> All right, a couple of cool sales inside as well, and then a homeschool hustler store sale, I think, as well. Let's go. All right, so I could say that I sold this for $40, but the reality is I sold this for $40 plus shipping. But see, I put it up here in the corner of my uh, eBay room here, and I had this side facing out, so if Blue Ridge Mama came in here and saw it, she wouldn't give me grief about it. So, <laughs> hey, and I get a lot of comments about that. My wife does give me grief about this kind of stuff, but she does a little uh, tongue-in-cheek. I think she tolerates it, so. Anyway, I, now, I don't think she'd like it if I, you know, put it up and kept it and framed it. Don't get me wrong. But this guy ended up selling for $40. This girl ended up selling for $40 plus shipping. So I hope my mumsy's not watching this. But if you are, here's going to be the ultimate test for me, okay? I know you don't watch it and leave comments, mumsy. But I do know that you watch all the time. So, so I'm going to go with your approval or your disapproval here. So call my mom. Call Commonwealth Grammy out there in Arizona and pass it on to me or you can call me you have my number and tell me if I'm allowed to sell this kind of stuff or not whatever you tell me I'll keep that in mind next time okay so by the way that was on a video on Commonwealth Picker and I had a viewer comment on it and Robert ended up buying it in your viewer now I think if I remember Robert you had left me a message maybe before you bought it I can't remember if you left it on the video and then I hadn't listed it yet I can't remember exactly what we did but you did come on here by it's $40 plus shipping when I saw it, I knew immediately it would resell somehow. My initial thought was I was going to take it to the antique booth and put, you know, keep it in the frame and sell it in there for 20, 25 bucks and make a little bit of money. And I'm like, you know what? This thing's pretty cool. This will go on eBay. This will sell. There are some other ones out there. As we get closer to Christmas, somebody will buy it and a viewer bought it. So Robert, we appreciate it. And we'll get it all packed up and shipped off to USAP. Thanks, Robert. Here is a signature Mary Kay lip outliner pencil. So this is one of the low end pieces here. And uh, Blue Ridge Mama listed these $7.88 free shipping, but it is pure profit after fees, after shipping. All right, here's a Under Armour gray medium golf t-shirt. And this one sold for $10 plus shipping. We're into it for around a dollar, maybe up to $2, depending on which buy I bought it at. I had a bulk buy where I bought a ton of stuff for two bucks a piece. But I also typically buy this stuff for a dollar, maybe sometimes even 50 cents. So either way, you know, it's going to be a profit somewhere around seven bucks. Really, really easy. And they never break in shipping. Hey, I have an inner man going out to Paula. She says, hi, Kevin. I've been watching you and your family on YouTube for a little while now. I used to sell on eBay a long time ago for fun, but have been thinking about selling again. Your videos helped me a lot. I've ordered an inner man as a reminder to get me moving. <laughs> Wishing you and your lovely family the best. Thank you, Paula. Paula, thank you. We appreciate it, and we hope he does get things moving. Hope he gets you moving, and I love your eBay store name, by the way. It's Moon Froggies. All right, one going out to Matthew, and Matthew, it looks like you share my grandmother's maiden name. I just noticed that. He says, Kevin, I love watching your channel and have learned a ton of knowledge that you share. I don't know what I share, really, to be honest with you, y'all, but uh, I hear so much of that, I must be sharing something out there, so who knows. I really enjoy watching the items in the background of your videos change out as things sell. It's fun to see if there's anything I've sold as well. I just have to have an Inman before they're gone, and I'm hoping that he can get things really moving for Q4. Well, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it, and good luck to you in Q4 as well, and uh, he's headed your way. Hey, and one more headed out to Daniel. Thanks for sharing your expertise with all of us. Autograph, please, Daniel. So, two of them. I messed up an order, by the way, the other day. If people buy two or three... Sometimes I go too darn quick and I don't check the quantities because some of them are pre-packaged up and ready to go and my family helps. But that's no excuse, I know. So I'm going to do my best to get two in there. So thanks so much, Daniel. We appreciate it. And he said it your way. All right, we're going to head back out to the Commonwealth cabin for something. I'm not quite sure what. 
Sometimes I film these videos out of order. Today, this is the first thing that I filmed. So uh, who knows what we're going to have out there. So good luck to everybody out there in the beginning month of Q4. We hope your sales are slowly but surely picking up, and we can't wait to see you next time. Hey, Turner, you have a homeschool Hustler store sale, and tell me what it is. Puzzle something dog. <laughs> it's a puzzle place dog. Puzzle place. Y'all remember puzzle place out there, maybe. I wasn't a puzzle place guy. I don't really remember it. But I know some people follow it. So, turn that sell for $14 free shipping. Enough for you to... Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate it that one. You got it. And this came from Mount Plushmore, Turner. So, with that sale, we're almost at $2,000 on one garage sale. So, 1971 minus 156. And that's our profit after all the expenses and shipping. That's pretty amazing, huh? All right, thanks for joining us. Bye. Hey, y'all. Wanted to show you something. I obviously have a Rockwell hanging up here. <laughs> Not an original. I love that one. Right next to the simplify sign. It's kind of my motto here. You know, don't forget the simple things. And I was able to buy these the other day. Three bucks for all of these Rockwell prints. And they will be slow sellers. They're 11 by 15 prints. And they're not going to be huge profit, but the day I sell the first one, I'll be in the pure profit. So, and, and they're flat, so they don't take much space. It'd be perfect. You tell me which one is your favorite of these classic Rockwell prints. And then tell me which one you think is my favorite. If I own in Virginia just to go and run the trails Found myself missing you more times than I can count Rolling on just like a stone nobody could tell me Where the boundaries in my lifestyle and I could be free Nobody could tell me Fancy bars while living in cars ain't nothing too complex. We're everywhere that you go, a little further to the next, but you keep on rolling. Just like a breeze. Sit up and down the coast, you know that nothing stays the same. If you keep looking at the past and you'll never change well, Here tomorrow, gone the next, just let life pass by You keep telling yourself you're only here for the ride